Good afternoon, everybody. We're back. We're playing some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm just setting up my video, which is going to be going live at 4 p.m. GMT. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a guide for something that people do. Uh, well, well, something people can do. Sorry, um, in the game, and there's a bit of a guide for it because the game doesn't exactly, you know, show you very much, and it'll, it's quite a pain to figure out. The guide will be good fun, but that's cool. Right now we're playing. We're playing some gaming. We're going to be playing Valhalla, uh, having a good time. Um, I'm ready to. I'm ready to get going. Uh, let's do this. So first things first. There's the social media. Now here's the game way. Hello, I've been waiting. I'm so glad you've been waiting because I too have been waiting. Right. Okay. I want to equip the Berserker hood because if I look, if I look at this, right. If I try, if I grow that even a little bit, it still doesn't really come close. To the snaz on that. I mean, it's quite bulky, but I think it'll be worth it for the stat it has. Whereas this, I guess, I guess is cool. Now there's rune slots on these. Do I have any runes? Rune of life is good because that adds lots of health. And on this, we'll also add a rune. Uh, we're gonna add the shadow rune. And on this, we're gonna add the minor feather rune. Now, do we have any weapons runes? Minor combustion rune. I don't know what that's gonna do, but uh, fire damage. Oh god, if that does fire damage, I swear to god. Right, Rune of Rage is much more useful there. I think I can upgrade the bow. Um, recurve bow. It's a predator bow, that one. Oh, it's good to have a predator bow. Uh, I don't think I found a predator bow up until... Well, sorry, I just knocked my microphone with my thing. Till just there. But I'm going to upgrade this. I'm going to upgrade this bow here. And I have enough to upgrade this bow too. Uh, why not? Now, what weapon can we upgrade? I've got a spear. I've got a bone biter. About this, bone biter is a two. Is it so well? What's that? What's? Oh god. Okay. I'm very confused as to why. Fine Dane axe. Now where's my shield? That everything's good. We're just setting out all the gear, getting it laid out in front of us, and we're ready to go. Now. Ah, I'm gonna kill this. Oh, look, that dog just got... That dog went aggressive mode for a minute. Loved it. Hello, dog. Yeah, see? This is true gaming. Slip off into the bushes to pet some dogs. Ah. Yeah, we love it. We love it. It's a good time. Your Ava looks wild. Yeah, exactly. I went I went for the... I went for the red hair and the, and the big, massive beard. Um... Watch the end game. Lots to look forward to. Right, well, I guess we should go up and do the Sons of Ragnar in Leicestershire, uh, or Leicestershire, as it would be known now, right? Is that right? Yeah, Leicester. Come on. Why is the dog following me? No, I'm riding into battle. Leave. <laughs> Obviously, um, at the moment, I'm only like power level 30, whatever. I'm going to be taking my time going through this story. I've already done a full, a full playthrough, so I know the story myself. Um, we're going to have a good... We're going to have a good time just doing all the world encounters and all the stuff like that that exists. The mystery, stuff like that. Because those those are the things that I haven't done too much of. I believe that's actually an animus anomaly, so we're certainly going to do that. Uh, if this viewpoint is the viewpoint I think it is, it is though, because I know it's the viewpoint I think it is. That's an animus anomaly. It's got to be. Letter Jester Shire. No, no, I know what... I know, it, I know it's Letter Jester Shire, yes. But that's, but modern, in the modern day, that's not known as a leather Chestershire, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, this Ava actually looks like a Viking. Hashtag like a Viking. Um, this is a Viking Ava. It also has a little bit of similarity to the actor Magnus Brown, because uh, it's. You know, red hair, big, big beard. Looks like he'd kill your mum. There you go. Exactly, exactly what we wanted. Um, hmm. Right, this is going to be easy. It's just a staircase. 
This is not as bad as Odyssey. It's miles better than Odyssey. I'm having a great time with this game. Um, there's some obvious issues with the gameplay. I have a couple of issues with maybe a bit of narrative, but beyond that, it's it's it's, it's a good time. There's a lot. It's a lot to do in the game, and the game has substance. swing let's go I don't know why I said let's swing we didn't swing we jumped now it's a, see up there it's a glitch it's the place to be I guess she does look like Here we go. Tree doing the dance. So here we are. What's chat saying? I've never seen an anonymous anomaly. Right, we're going to do this one then. Explore the anomaly. Bex, are you seeing this? Yeah, it's weird. Here we are. We're in the place. I can see a loose data packet close by. I'll see if Listen I can to the soundtrack in okay, the background. Take it slow. We don't know what this thing is. Do, 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 do. This one's more or less like an introduction sort of thing. So this is probably the easier one. They get quite difficult after a while. Like they get quite complicated. They're, they, they start to do other things and it becomes a pain in the ass. To be honest. Like it's not just this. There is a, there is a little more to it and I quite like that the fact that there's a little more to it you know what i mean it's rather wondrous right it's a good time i like a good anomaly right that goes there this goes here think I'm supposed to fire this one at this for a minute. This is because I think that's just like sort of is like a I have no clue but I think it just sort of is just more like a conduit than an actual thing. To reflect and manipulate the direction of a light beam so that's what that's right there you go. See? Beautiful. Here we are, let's go. Do 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 gaming. Right, now I have to go back round. Cause I use that to access and get off the platform. But an update is available for the game. Oh shit. I guess I'll update that after the stream then, because we're streaming right now. James Rostron, cheers for the super chat, you legend. Um Anybody know how it is on Xbox One? I hear the performance yes. is shocking on packet. the base Xbox I One. It. It's encrypted, but nothing I can't handle. There we are. I got it. Be ready.
Right, lovely. <laughs> lovely and good. Online service error. Beautiful. That's been happening, like, lots. I don't know why it's been happening lots, but it has been happening lots. Um, what's that over there? Hmm, no, that's over that way. It's that way. Yeah, 100 meters in that direction. What could it possibly be? Soon in, tell me. Or I'll punch you in the face. Say hi to your fans in Brazil. Hello to everybody in Brazil. How are you all doing? Um... Why is someone spamming PS5 sucks in the chat? Do you really have nothing better to do? Ah, 100 supplies. Lovely. It makes it worth it. If you can get supplies by not pillaging, it gives it a little bit more um, of that feeling of, you know what? I don't have to at least, I don't, at least I don't have to go around and pillage everywhere to get the supplies I need. At least there's alternative means. So I don't have to commit to a tedious raid every time I want to get more supplies. Yeah, I quite like it. Oh, there's there's another thing you can sort of smash into pieces and get gaming. Sorry, I'm ten minutes late, fishy. That's fine, there's no worries. Don't you never have to apologize for being late. And Jesus Ava, what the fuck, man? You having a good time there, lad? It's like Sonic the Hedgehog having a wank. Or at least a ginger version. <laughs> this is still, I'm just stuck. <laughs> yep. Um, when it comes to the review, I'm going to have to talk about the glitches. It's going to be the most golden thing ever. Because I've got an absolute mad like arsenal of just clips of the the most the most the most golden glitches like a game can present it's gonna be magnificent i can't wait might be here for a while well he's gotta finish Any time today, please. How the fuck did that happen? We uh, we've had we, we appear to have had a glitch in the animus. I can't actually move at all, and I probably can't fast travel either. I can fast travel; it's fine. Don't worry about it. The animus is broken. Try calling your horse. Fast travel somewhere. Don't worry about it. Imagine people joining the stream right now. Thought I was watching Assassin's Creed Valhalla. No fucking knuckles busting a nut. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Everyone like the stream and we'll, we'll have a good time. I should probably go back and try to reattempt to do what I was going to do before. But this time, I should actually... Okay, that's Alchester Monastery. We've been there. Oh, no, you know what? I know what that is, actually. Yeah, we'll do it. It's not too difficult. Um, we'll follow the road along, and we'll just sort of wrap round. The wolf is sick in this game. Oh, no. I hope it gets better soon. Do you have any tips or tricks to help our experiences? Just, uh... Take your time is the best thing you can do with this game. It's a game where taking your time with it, it's not a gr it's not well, there's a little bit of grind, yes. There is there is some grind, yeah, for sure. Like there's a little bit. It's not fully gone. If you really want to push the limits of the game, you can probably get through without having to grind at all. Um But if you try to blast through, you'll feel like at some points you you're being you're being, you know, it's being suggested, and that can be a little bit of an issue. But just take your time with it, and you'll never. F and if you're just in that mindset, you'll never feel like you're being held back from anything when you naturally come to do it. You've got to soak in the world and the even amount. I think, I think personally, you should just do what you want to be doing. But that's not how the game wants to function. So you got if you take your time. 
performance FPS video coming. Uh, I can't really talk about performance or FPS because my PC is powerful to the point where it I wouldn't be able to diagnose the issues that are causing performance hit to begin with. I had some performance issues starting out. I had stutter that would like build up after about an hour and then it then I had crashes, but there seemed to be a patch rollout that fixed that for me. So it's not really on me. Hmm, there's a chest here. Inside which I found a hundred supplies, which I'll invest in myself. I am one with the earth, with the air and water and fire and what is the other? Clouds! Tree bark. What is that smell? Hello, sir. Easy friend. I think you may have eaten something that did not agree with you. Today my saga is writ! Glory! More graphic setting you're using. Ultra, I think, besides from a some anti-aliasing thing that was giving me a little performance hit that just didn't make a difference visually. I don't know why it was giving me a performance hit. That one's interesting, but it it's not my problem now it's resolved, is it? Don't forget to leave a like on the stream, share with your friends, hit subscribe if you're new. I've got... I've, oh, God. He's made friends. Now he's going to chin the fuckers. Jesus, he, man. Settle down. You're playing on PC? That's what the title says, isn't it? The title is obviously lying. <laughs> I may throw up. I may throw up. Interesting choice of character. I could probably turn the volume up a little bit in the game. Um, I noticed that was quite low, but I'm just testing with it a little bit. There we go. That I just played back this stream last night, and it just sounded like I was a little bit too quiet um, by comparison to the game. But that's when I'm. That's you know that's when I have to be quiet in the house because other people are sleeping. Uh, whereas now it should be fine. I can adjust it for later if I need to. This area is off You're not on PC. Click beta exposed. I have gone to WASD to prove my PC-ness. I know you were joking, but just the same. Oh god, that's really diff- Oh, no, WASD controls with this. I don't rec- I won't wish it on my worst enemy. Don't use keyboard and mouse. Just- just- just don't. Get off of me, you dick. Come on, sir. Sometime this month. Oh god, I just- Decapitation. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's kicking off on my guy. He decided to make a friend and he'd kill him. Ow. That looked like it hurt. Do you reckon you're done, lad? You keep this up, you are going to get yourself killed. Are you hearing me? Yeah! Loud and clear! Now stand aside so that I may fulfill my destiny! Yeah! Come and fight me! Can you turn off the combat numbers? I don't know if you can. Apparently you could, but I just can't find out how. Yes? It appears so! I mean, I was led to believe that you can, but I don't know if you can. Broken shield. To go with my broken face. I hope I can play in an hour if Epic releases it. I can't even start it on Ubisoft now. Connect yet. Ah, that's weird. So on PC it can't be started yet for most people. That's really strange. That acting was spot on. This game performs absolutely dog shit on base consoles. I'm waiting until the Series X is back in stock before I touch it again. Game's good, but I ain't playing it until I can play it without FPS drops. It is a. It is one of those. It's quite. It's quite a demanding game, I guess, in some respects. Your skull. Gods. Is he dead? No, but he should be. Seems the gods disagree this time. 
Splash water in his face and keep your distance. He will throw up something fierce. Thank you for the advice. Send for your trouble, which is now my problem. <gasps> I quite like ginger ale. It's a quality. It's a quality. Look. Everyone should get red-haired Eivor and... yeah. What do you think about the stealth in the game? Uh... You can make it more accessible by sticking it on easy and then it's a lot more forgiving and feels a bit more like traditional Assassin's Creed stealth. But it's still viable on normal. Just maybe a little less so. The game doesn't ever really prioritise stealth. Like, there are some moments where it's suggested you can use stealth. It's never forced upon you. I think that's good for the agency of choosing how to tackle things, but sometimes combat is forced upon you. Like, surely if you're going to present both options, both options should be viable every time, rather than having stealth somewhat viable sometimes, but combat always viable. It just gives you an idea of what the game is prioritizing: the Viking fantasy or the assassin fantasy. And that's that's a little that's a little thing that you know it's worth mentioning. Here we can be mean to a child. Are you ready? Please, this leaf cannot fall. Stay back. Do not touch this tree. All right. What is your name? Nay. Eivor. Something about this tree important to you? It's the leaves. My father said he would return home before they'd all fall into the ground. And now only one remains. And still no return. It's been six weeks. Six weeks since he's gone to Lincoln in search of work. I wish he stayed. Just one more season. He was so sure that the controller? Deal, yeah. we could have tried. I don't think he's coming back. Six weeks is much too long for a father to leave a child. If he was going to return, he would have done so by now. Oh, no. You can talk to this leaf, pray to your gods, shout at the stars, but your father's fate was forged long ago. Like mine. Like yours. Stop talking like that. He'll come back. He said so. Just... just leave me be. We can be mean yeah, to this child. See. Before the leaves fall, just like he said. <sighs> now the, le the final leaf has fallen, child. No! You wicked devil! I told you not to do that! It is for your own good, May. Your father would want you to carry on with your life, not waste it away like this. Leave me alone and never come back. I don't ever want to see you again. I find it so weird that we just leave a child to live on her own in a gaff in the middle of nowhere. Maybe take her back to Ravensthorpe or something. And she's a child. And here's May's journal. It has been, it, well, it has now been six weeks and father has not returned home from Lincoln. Home before our tree sheds its last leaf, he told me. But every day I peer outside, there are more leaves on the ground and less in the trees. Sometimes I do not look at all, but fear that the tree by our home is bare. But then I'm struck with the hope that I may see him riding over the fields back to me. Oh, father, where are you? Well, dead is the answer. I'm just going to leave a child to fend for herself because that's... That's true Viking right there. Um, a power level 33. Hands if you kill innocents, it warns you. It, it'll, t it'll tell you off for it, but like, nope, you don't want to be killing innocents, trust me. Like, this is not a good idea. Stop killing innocents, please. We will desync you, for this is a still Assassin's Creed. Or at least that's what we're trying to be. For once. I am a red headed man. I just feel the fury of such, such a man. It was a good time. Is this even my horse? Oh, it is. Yeah. Yes, go to quest objective. Though along the way, I'll find other stuff to do. I'll probably take it. I'll probably just hop off the road here. The reason why I don't tend to hop too far off roads in that in this is because... Uh, Often you'll just find little field after little field with loads and loads of walls and horse travel becomes very unviable after a little a little bit on that one. But that's fine. Is Wales in the game? No. 
This land bears deep affliction. Oh, this place is cursed. This, these are fun. We like a good curse. This area is cursed. Now, I wonder. Right, I wonder if we can burn out this this toxic. Yes, we can burn out the toxic gases. I love that you can burn out the toxic gases like that. They'll eventually come back, of course, so we need to get to high ground. I need to find out where that curse is. Focal point of the curse is usually the area, quite important, like where it's coming from. We need to destroy that. I don't understand what the visual cues are about, besides from an art style. Because surely in Assassin's Creed lore, this isn't actually cursed. Is it this? Not is something we can destroy. Like a trap. <coughs> there we go. You see that there? That's the source of the curse. And now the curse is destroyed. By Odin, the Nithing curse is lifted. Think about the game. I'm having a good time, and there's still toxic gases here. Naturally. Need to be careful here. Don't understand what was confining them to there, but okay. I bought the game from the Ubisoft store. Didn't get the game, but they took my money. That's so weird. That's so odd. Ubisoft, what's going on with that? Sort it out. You'd expect, right? You'd expect when a game launches that it would actually launch. Why is it still stinky? Can we not pop spoilers in the chat, please? It's not... It's just... People are probably watching this, knowing part three is early, early stages of the game. Not necessarily wanting to be spoiled, just wanting to get a taste of the game. So, I feel like we owe it to those people to not, well, practically be a dickhead. Hello. It's over. You can come out now. Tarquin, my thing. What has happened? Your caps have fled. Felt a little soft for my liking. What are you really doing in there? Oh God, no! It was only a game, a romp. My dear Tarquin, how could you? I saw a man holding you against your will. <coughs> All a part of the seduction. <laughs> oh God. You really thought my life was in danger, and you risked your own. Oh, you! Oh, you are so brave! A fine protector. Tell me you are joking. Please! You must fight for me! Who knows what lurks below? What vile people might come to harm me? I need a protector, stout and resolute. Please, stand guard below. If I do, will you come out? Oh, assuredly. Okay, well, that's not an openable door, so we know how this is going to go. Trouble coming. Real trouble. Keep quiet. I think it is time I take my leave. <laughs> there you go. Easy as that. Where'd the corpse go? So I can... I don't think I can get my arrow back from it. 
Where are we? Uh, where's that viewpoint? There. You know what? I'm gonna go get that because I like this. These ruins over here. These are fun. There's a lot. Oh, it's, it's good time. Good ruins. A couple of good pieces here. Any assassin shit in this game? Oh, there's plenty. Here's an entire menu of the Order of Ancients that you can hunt down. The Order um, of Ancients are like Proto-Templars. They're a little bit different to Templars, uh, but they are Templars, more or less, well, basically, you know what I mean? Um, so there's that. Obviously, you've got the Hidden Ones or Assassins back at the... Back at the... the you know, back at Ravensthorpe, you've got well, Hytham, Bassin. They're a fun time. Get out the way, boxes. I'm gonna smash you for being a pain in my ass. Now, here we go. And there's a chest. Carbon ingot, which I can use to, I guess, upgrade stuff. Is that right? Now, viewpoint. Oh, yeah. My eyes. I'm enjoying the stream. Will you also stream the DLC for sure? I heard that Paris. That, yeah, a little bit of well, it's a bit of France and Paris is one, and the other one is going to be Ireland. And I look forward to playing both, but. Right now we've got plenty of game to go through and soak in. This game is very good. Valhalla is poggers. I don't understand what that word means. Poggers. Why and why do people insist on saying it? Reskinned Odyssey, yikes. It's a little bit more to it than that. The biggest difference between this and Odyssey is the fact that this game doesn't want to waste your time, whereas Odyssey is just filler upon filler quest, and in this, it just there's just a bit more to it, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe you do, maybe you don't. All I'm saying is this game is miles better. I had a strange problem with... Uh, with the game, when I tried to open it, I noticed it's using Intel shit graphics card by default. So I have to switch it to NVIDIA manually. That's probably quite pain on a demanding game as well. Like, the frame rate would be, would be quite low if you have to switch it in the thing. Now, I need to get above here. Where is there a zip line there? Yes, there is. So I guess I have to get above this via the zip line thing. If I can even get up there. Uh, God, can I? Oh, I see what I, 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 see what I can do. I see exactly what I can do. I can I can hop on from here, head on over, and then go from there. Oh uh, yeah, well, ultimate edition uh, console edition well doesn't show well. Doesn't show it. Well, con sorry, content doesn't show in the game PS4. I have no clue. That's interesting. Angry note. Athel word. For the last bloody time, block up the damn windows in the rear. Any passing nonce can see inside our gate, our goods, and the weak bloody timber we have blocking the door. Do it. Well, that's a hint, isn't it? See that there? That's weak timber blocking a door. Just gotta fire that. And then he smashed it. Now we have access to this room. And the game doesn't tell you to do that. It hints, but there's no objective telling you that that's what you need to do. Kylo Ren, you're a Chad Viking fishy. Eivor is a badass bits and pieces. That's what we like. Ah, shit. Well, so much for the stealthy route, see what I mean? Everyone's dead, though, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, cheers for the super chat, Kylo Ren. And here we are. 
chest of loot, and now we've got Hafengard, or Hrafen, Hrafengard, something like that. Is there a pig in here? Mmm, dinner. I'll just leave it there and it'll cook. Mmm, tasty. It's grand. I think you can get to upgrade rarity and then you use other resources to upgrade stats. Yeah, that's right. You you upgrade the rarity of it with ingots of like nickel or carbon and stuff like that. And then you upgrade your stats through use of uh, just your iron ore and your leathers. And it doesn't require much to, to upgrade the stats or the rarity. It's just one of them usually is what you require. Either nickel or carbon or whatever. And that's fine. Instant bacon. Chest the loot. Smart cooking. What's your general opinion of the game so far? Gonna have to wait until the summer to play due to exams. But it's been great watching you play. Uh, I think the game so far has plenty going for it. There are obviously some aspects where it could be better. One of them lies in the gameplay relying mostly on the same version of the Anvil engine that powered both Origins and Odyssey. It just feels like it's outstayed. It's welcome. And... And that seems to be people's biggest critique about it as well, calling it Odyssey Prime. And we all know that Odyssey really just felt stale, and so the gameplay at times can feel a little stale and boring, but the story carries that, to be fair. There's... There's plenty of um, positives. The world is far more organised. The content doesn't waste your time. There's so you know that stuff. Kylo Ren. I still love this game. Been playing all day. Still need a Bayek sequel though. Yeah, for sure we need a Bayek sequel. Um, it'll be. I mean, it'll be a good time. But they'll never do it now, will they? We can pretend that they will, but they never will. Uh, but cheers for the super chat, Kylo Ren. <laughs> uh, oh god, people who tune in at the end and be like, "What? Kylo Ren donated?" Like. Um, they just imagine, they just imagine like a depressed Adam Driver just sat there, donating to Fishy. Um, that's another mess. Um, at 4 p.m. GMT, I have a video scheduled to go up, which is going to be a guide on all the Assassin bureaus, the Codex pages, and the Hidden Ones um, attire, all in one, because. It's literally just the same thing to, for all three. Ah, that was well shit. Bam, bam. I'm now on fire. What a horrible way to die. And this book is mine. Book of knowledge. Knowledge. Harpoon impalement. I guess harpoon impalement is mine. It's a melee ability. Which is good. We'll use that in the A slot. And now we have... Now we're actually starting to get some... Abilities go in. So just shift that out of the way that way. And then we can just quickly disappear. But first things first. No, oh, I've, I've looted everything that I need. Kylo Ren. I love your videos. Great content. Valhalla in it. Yeah, Valhalla in it. <laughs> Cheers for the super chat. Your generosity is truly humbling me. Um, don't rinse yourself. Don't rinse yourself. Donate it to me. I'd don't deserve it. Can this game be considered an Assassin's Creed game? Oh, for sure. Like, it has Assassin's Creed qualities, and it has them in an agreeable abundance. Uh, if you're looking for a return to Assassin's Creed form of old, you're not going to see it, but you are going to see a game that actually at least respects Assassin's Creed lore within Assassin's Creed, which is... Mad to think that that's something to look out for. But I guess it just is. It has a lot of integrity riding on that alone, and I think that's a positive. I, at least I can spin it as a positive. Right, that's me. Is it? That's me, yeah, look at it. Oh, that's a screenshot I took. Right, we're heading there anyway, because that seems like a fun place. Do you think it's the best out of Origins and Odyssey? Uh, Valhalla, I think... Yeah. I definitely put it on a par with Origins, and I quite like Origins. Uh, it's miles better than Odyssey, Valhalla. It's sort of that that way. 
and it's got an atmosphere to it that Origins and Odyssey both didn't really have. They both lacked this atmosphere that Valhalla manages, uh, and I can I can appreciate that. It feels later in the day than it is. Jesus. I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. I didn't forget it. You said you would bring it. Ah, you Ivor's journal. Must Fighting is in our blood. I have known it all my life, but my brother will never believe it. Even when mother died and she revealed the truth about our father, he still denies it. Uh, I still remember I remember it so clearly. She lay there choking on blood after a fierce battle with one of our cows and plainly said with smouldering eyes, You're Aragna's son. As though death, my brotherhood, you're a bastard son. No, he will see that it is a warrior's life we are best suited for, not a farmer's. I will show him that we are our father's sons. Shrek 5 and Mega Man 2 when I'm drinking mead and beer. Cheers. Cheers again, Kylo Ren, for your generosity, man. You fool. Must I please do absolute legend. We're trying to solve a problem here. We need fire to set the house ablaze. Think, think. How could you forget the torch? I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. I didn't. Okay. You said you would bring it. So I was drinking apple juice, having a good time. Must I do everything? Bam! Your house is on fire. Has helped us. Come here, Sprout. Who are you? You wanted fire. There you have it. Now I get the sense you two are ill fit for whatever it is you're plotting. <laughs> this one takes us for a fool, brother. We sons of Ragnar have this well under control. No, we do not. Sons of Ragnar? I know of many, but never have I heard of Dol and Dollar. What is your plan here? We set up that abandoned house to practice a raid. Build it with our most precious things to up the stakes. Even master raiders such as we need to stay sharp, brother. You better hurry. Yes, for glory. Please come with. I do not want to do this with my brother alone. Color I love your actual comments videos. You have so many salty haters, Loth. Cheers, man. I, 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 I'm quite proud of the salty haters. They give me some entertainment. I appreciate the sleeper chat. I hope the next AC game is set in a single scale city with good engine and parkour. That'd be fun. It'd be a nice change of pace. I like a good change of pace. You must hear it in my voice. I cannot do it. Gentle as a lamb. Stand aside. The building's on fire. What is wrong? The door is not opening. Use the key. Ah, yes. Uh, uh, Ubisoft quit? Connect is oh. making me realize that I, I accept random friend requests on Uplay. You must get it uh, I, well, I accepted random friend requests when it was Uplay. Dolan, Dolan. I find it so weird that this is where you have to get in, but these boxes will not smash. Like, they won't. But, if I go around the corner, and then come back, they'll be gone, probably. Here we are. Now it moves. Smash. I found a way in! That. I do not see it here. Search kegs. Wrong again. Focus. The amount of times I've done this. This must be the key to the door. Oh, thick-headed fools. Speak I am to them unharmed, now. which makes you very lucky. Smart, you mean. I must have taken Mother's axe out of the house, knowing this fool would forget it. And left the key in its place. You two are Ooh. as useful as a glass hammer. I'm leaving. Is Valhalla even worth it on current gen? Well, it'll have a free upgrade to next gen anyway, won't it? So, it won't matter. Even if you get it on current gen, you'll still... You'll get it for free when, you know, 
if you also have a PS5 or Xbox Series X or S. So I don't think I, that you, um, if it's worth it on next gen, the point is in that in that situation you can't really lose. So I don't understand the 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 what what why you're asking if you know what I mean. But I think it's worth it. I think it's a good time. You can sink. You can sink your you can sink your hours worth into it for sure. You get you get a good. I don't know. I think I've invested seventy hours in total. I did a, a, a sixty hour playthrough, and then I've got this on top. Uh, last I checked, the number of total hours in the game was was up to like sixty nine, which was like oh lovely. But you know what I mean. Tamworth Fortress. Oh lovely again. Get the wolf mount, fishy. I don't want to get about riding a giant wolf. But if I is it in inventory? Where's horse? Where does one change the skin of horse? Now I've got a cod in here, a big cod. This fish can be found off the coast of East Anglia, Kent or Essex. Yes. At the stables. You name your horse, horse. I'll just call it horse. I'll say horse. Because when the horse is being fucking stupid, I can shout horse. You know what I mean? And I feel really good. Like, horse. And everyone loves it. Even the horse. The horse has a, has a moment of pure glee as it dies. As the Red Dead Redemption 2, horses are, are actual trash in any other game before it. Roach or Phobos? Roach is a nicer name for a horse. Phobos is just PTSD incarnate. You know what? I, th I, I think it's fair to say that Assassin's Creed Odyssey has ruined anything ancient Greece that I might have been interested in before. The history of it. I just don't care. Why? Because Assassin's Creed Odyssey ruined it all. You can blame that. I can respect it from a distance without wanting to wanting to think about it, if you know what I mean. It's just that it's just that it sort of ruins it for you. You know when something does something right and it ruins it for you. Like I'd say the Jack the Ripper DLC for Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I'd argue that ruined Jack the Ripper for me a bit, like as a as a mystery. Like I became so uninterested in it as a subject. I love history. I love learning about history. I love mysteries as well. But if you do a poorly done piece in that, it's a mad one. I heard there was a setting in game you must turn on so you always get one hit assassinations. Is that true? Yes. I have it turned on. It was it was Jack the Lad all along. I love how you present a massive, a massive historical mystery, such as the most famous like unsolved serial killer case, or most infamous unsolved serial killer case of all time, at least one of them. Um, and you go right. How can we present this mystery to Assassin's Creed and make it compelling? Oh, I know. Why don't we suggest a really on the nose identity for Jack the Ripper really early on, where he's called Jack the Fucking Lad, and we'll leave it at that. That, that is what they did. That, why? Why is this fox move? Just die, you dick. There we go. Was that so difficult? No. <laughs> why did they decide to do that? It was just so... They could have done so much with a mystery like that. Instead, they decided to take what made the mystery interesting and shit on it in the first 20 minutes. <laughs> It's been five years. I need to get over myself. I feel like it. I'm. I'm. I, I get mad just thinking about it because I love, you know, this. I love, you know, the mystery of this. I loved, you know, learning about the mystery of, say, Jack the Ripper, or I love learning about ancient Greece because I, you know, I used to. I, well, I mean, I really did enjoy. I really do enjoy history, and I mean. At uh, college, I actually, in ancient history, I actually studied a bit of, like, 
ancient Greece. And it's fair to say that if you if you do a really poorly done like historical game or drama in that, and I am somehow exposed to that, it will ruin it for me. Like it just does. I don't know why, but it does a little bit. It doesn't feel. It just feels silly, if you know what I mean. It's just. I just I just can't get the thought of this, like the poorly done piece, out of my mind. Oh, is this man? Hello. This is Big Man McGee, the biggest of them all. Kylo Ren. You need a combo in your name at McDonald's. Lovely. I bet you would sell your own mum for cheap. How much did they pay you to say that this get is a good game? Sell your own mum for cheap. How much did they pay you to say that this is a good game? You Okay, well, I'm going to save that, by the way, because that is going to be actual commented. Um, but no, Ubisoft have paid me nothing to say anything. I think they gave me a review code, and I appreciate that, but I'm going to be honest about the game just the same. You don't have to get aggressive with me, mate. That's the last thing you want to be doing, trust me. It just makes you look like a dickhead, and I drink your tears. There's no outcome where you win, basically, with that one. But I, at least I get a nice comment that I can shove in actual comments and enjoy taking the piss out of. So thank you for that one. I love when people do it on stream. I, I love when people decide that now's the time that they want to make themselves look like a massive buffoon. It's magnificent. Right. Hello there, man. Oh, right there, you speedy hair. No entry to you past this point without a password to anoint. Um, stand aside or face my wrath. What is this place? What is this place? A den for those who answer the call of a slick and slippery midnight brawl. It looks like he's been made out of clay. That must be spoken, but it seems you don't yet have this token. How do they make an open world environment look so nice and then have character models like this? I would love to know. I'd love to know what they did. I'd love to know where, where they... I'd love to know that, you know what, the, the visuals in this game look really nice. And then you... Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> it just... It, the man. Time and resources not spent well. They spent more time in environments. Environmental artists are different to the model artists are different. Yeah, but surely you'd want to have consistency. Surely. Yes, I know environmental artists artists are di I don't I'm, they're different, yeah. But you'd want to have a a solid flow. Because surely it's all running in the same engine. Right. Well, it's not difficult to sort out. I don't think it's excusable, um, you know, to have character models like that in a game that, on the whole, looks pretty nice. But at least not all character models look like that. It's just some. And it's annoying when it happens. Password. I eavesdropped and I think I heard it right. Naked fists and waylaid lisps. Or wellied, or however I say it. We'll, we'll, we'll see what the man says. Now I've got it, we speak to the man. To you past this point. Fishy, you are a, a moron. A uh, cool. Naked fists and one eyed lips. Naked fists and wall eyed lisps. Wall eyed lisps. Ah, keen okay. Eye and clever nose. You'll need them both to keep on your toes. Enter, enter, take your shot. But careful, don't get beat to snot. Are you ready? I am ready. Let me scrap. And now for your opponent. Let's see if you don't take a You play this on maximum video options? Yeah, besides from one anti-aliasing thing that seemed to be causing a, a blip. I'll probably set it on at some point and see if that behaves. 
Because it wasn't earlier, but that was before the, the most recent patch of the game. Okay, well that wasn't difficult. Watching you rub bodies was an absolute treat. You move just like a noodle. My favorite thing to eat. It would please me to no end to watch you fight again. So whenever, now or then, return promptly to my den. I move just like a noodle, apparently, and he loves scranning noodles. Friend. He just walked straight through me, man. Ah, back again. Ready for more. Okay, there's a difference between how Eivor looks and how this guy looks. I'm just a bit confused by how the, there's that big a difference. Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. There may be shared blood in your veins against this rapid-firing Dane. Baller of Kent. Okay. <laughs> Oh god, it's the man who... He swings like a mad man, this one. go the man has been taken down well hang on his name was not Bola of Kent it was something else ready for more I'm ready splendid and now for your opponent I think it's time your head got stung for none remain but the silver tongue one on one You'll fight with me, champion of the BBB. The lip sync is making my head hurt. But so, it's weird how it's just, it's not so much that it, the lip sync is off, but it's that it's not consistent in the sense that he just tried to elbow drop me. It's not, so, it's not consistent in the sense that sometimes it's fine and then other times it's just not. Just you're gonna drop his elbow on. Oh, there we go. Oh god, I just got beaten to shit. Okay. Let's try to beat him. I need to beat this guy, otherwise I won't be happy. I'm gonna beat the ever loving ah, shit out of you, sir. Back again. Ready for more. I'm ready. ready. Splint. I think it's time your head got stung for none room. Okay, we get it. I'm just trying to fight this man. You should do stand-up comedy. The flighting and minigames are great in Valhalla. Oh god, this man is actually kicking the shit out of me. Cheers for the super chat, man. Okay, I do need to actually roll out like this. I need to take a couple... I need to do a, do a couple... I do need to... I don't, I don't, what I need to do is I need to do a couple hits like that and then dash out the way and let him just burn himself out. Oh god, he went flying then. Not in a cinematic way either. I can do this. Maybe I can't do this.
done. I've never been in such a fight. You've walloped me with all your might. It seems to me you've proven to be champion of the BBB. This man's lip sync is all over the place. I think. Go on now, carry our name with only pride and never shame. Remember how it was you came to be blessed with so much fame. Farewell. <laughs> BBB membership, it's just on a, a bit of bark. Okay, right. Well, that did bits. Um, I could probably find rations to reset myself around here. Color and cheers, everyone. Later, great stream. I'll take it easy, mate. Have fun. Um, see you soon, Maniac. And I appreciate the super chat again. 400 sorry not no, no sorry four dollars twenty that's that's a ma that's a mad number I think I get the joke uh, do you think they should ditch the RPG element in the next Assassin's Creed game uh yeah I think it's I think if Valhalla is trying to say anything it's that this RPG approach is a little bit restrictive and so they're trying to break down the mold of what it, and uh, well, Break down that mold of the RPG a little bit. Obviously, it's still an RPG and still has RPG elements, uh, or at least what passes as RPG elements, but not really. It, with the quest, you know, the tracking and the side content, it feels a bit more like a just a just a third-person open world. You know what I mean? More action adventure open world sort of style, with its RPG moments in there as well. Dane's offering. Something violent afflicts my son. He has not eaten or drank in four days. Not slept, for he shakes in the night, ca uh, crying sad tears. It is no illness. He is just silly. Uh, well, it's no illness I have seen, thus it must be a curse. One that I feel will bring about an end to his life. To the gods, I need to get some hare's foot business. To kill three of the finest rabbits. Which I can do at some point, but obviously there's more to... It's more to life than killing killing rabbits right now. Where even am I? Hmm. Oh god, that's a two hundred that's a don't go in there, we'll get pummeled to death. Honestly, I don't give a fuck about being an assassin's or animals. I love being a viking. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, 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 I can feel that. It's always good to be hashtag like a viking. In gaming, I guess. Yeah, because why not? I'm having a nice quiet adventure, I'm sorry. Um was it 94 kilometers. It's a bit bigger than Origins, right? I think so. Yeah, so it's a so it's got quite a big map this one. Repton. Sigurd should be here with Arachnosons. Right. So there's an up in quality between this and whatever the BBB thing was. Who stands before Ivar Ragnarsson? Are you Sigurd Drenger? Igor! Eivor! It's still a lip sync issue, that isn't there? Stay in the floors. The place could use some colour. 
Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending fires. <laughs> Now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Saxon Peggy, uh, uh, to run amok through the mercy and fields. <laughs> Lovely gaming. Ooh, what's that? What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine they're weeping when we drove them out. You planted your knife deep into Look the Look at how he walks, skin. like a like a That's mental right. case. Who walks like that? He does. Puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leo. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Get some tattoos, fishy. Don't worry. I'll, it'll be my first call of duty as soon as I get the bloody... Um... That's it, well, first, yeah, as soon as I get the fucking tattoo shop sorted, I'll, the first thing I do, right, let's kill somebody, you, I want you dead, no, I want you dead, oh, I missed, shit, there you go, that's, that's what happens when you start trying to kill people, I'm not going anywhere, Backrot, you have the king on his heels because of me, because of my men, for which you were paid. Her teeth are horrific. Price does not change By design, yes. It's horrible to look at. You forget I am a cell sword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lovebrook. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. This is one of them. My worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Eivor here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shell Wolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Um, Viking rule through a Saxon king. It sounds like you'll be a king in name only. A puppet. I am doing my part. I hope you have come to do yours. We're going to need all the help we can get for what comes next. The king is He's got a really angry face. Jail wolf means to you deserve one million that. subscribers. Boris yeah, Johnson is a chad. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, man. Boris Johnson is a chat. That's an awkward super chat thing. But okay. Another shithole. Only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shellwolf, come morning this shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Bugred is not to be harmed, 
My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Uh, this is a sound plan. Let's begin. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah, oh, you never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. Why did why did Avil randomly start poetry business Will there? It's like annoying people who randomly burst out into song in Tesco. In it's like stop it, or I will get I'll find my car and run you over with it. Go. Please. <laughs> I'm glad you and your brother have come, if only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheerwolf. We all stand to benefit. And you'll be remembered for this, for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. With a beard like this, Eivor will be remembered for the beard. Eivor looks short. Eivor is very short. I don't understand why Eivor is so tell. short. Quite a lot to see here. But it's funny. But look at how short Eivor is, by comparison to these people. Looks like a stance thing, but Jesus. <laughs> They're looking at each other, and there's Eivor just with that fucking face. <laughs> oh shit, what's going on? And then you've just got Eivor staring like this. Having a great time. I swear that Eivor is a nonce. Right, well, let's have a little explore. Huh. Short people are fast. Uh, are they? I mean, Avil's not stupidly short. Avil is just shorter than every other character. Um, for some reason. Little, little man Avil. Have you collected the Animus Truth videos? In this save, only one. Scary scribblings. Whatever that says. Hmm. I need to get that stuff and then build up my business. Build up my business. That sounds awfully, awfully businessy. Look at this lovely that man. That song. You have spent some days in a longship. Oh, many. <laughs> See this salt blasted hair. The talk of pummeling over the years. All that seawater. Feels like hay now. Better keep away from the horses then. <laughs> you are very quick and sturdy by the looks of you. But you are not from that Ragnarsson camp there in Repton. I would have recognized you. I belong to another clan. What are you doing away from yours? I have been cast out. Too old, too frail. Dead weight, as they say. I will have to get used to watching the sights of war from afar now. No shame in that. Not many of us can say they lived long enough to simply retire. You have earned it. But have I? Or have I missed my chance? I thought I knew what lay ahead, but now that is foreign to me. Embrace it. Sail the seas, write your songs, and bellow out in the winds. Sounds nice to me. You are far too young to speak so wise. There is a bright future for you and your clan. I would like to add to it. 
Take this key. And if you find yourself in Repton, seek out my quarters near the docks. There is a large tree out front. Inside, you will find a few of my most prized items. Take them. I no longer have any need. You honor me. Call it a gift from the old guard to the new. Odin, guide your way. Well, let's mooch back to the viewpoint over there and keep an eye have a this have a scram, maybe. Do 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 do. First things first, I'm gonna go and get this guide thing. I might actually go do the viewpoint first because I want to do the viewpoint, and I have no doubts it'll spit me out more or less where I want to be. The house I want to be going to, I think, is this one up here, right? Or is it down there? It won't matter if I can't figure it out. It's this house. I'll remember that. That house there. See that house? That's the house it wants me to go to. In a minute. That's fine. So went, go there and loot shit. And that's because he's been cast out for being old. Because that happens. The amount of people I cast out from my family is because they're old fuckers. Oh, you can smash windows, by the way. And when you smash windows, you can head into their out. You can head in and steal shit, I guess. It's a good time. How fun is raiding? It can be fun. But it's not something that you'll find to be endless fun. Like, you'll get to a point where it'll just expire. You'll be like, oh, it's another raid. Ah. Here we are. Okay, let's uh, let's head back into the ends. Where's the view? Where's the haystack? Sorry, not the viewpoint. Where's the eyes? Sometimes they can be hard to see in this game. I'm new to the channel. The game looks great, but would you recommend it, it at all? Uh, that depends entirely on what you're after from the game. If you're after um, an, a traditional Assassin's Creed experience, it might not be for you. It's very much so taking on the newer form of the franchise that I don't personally find myself agreeing with too greatly but it's not it's not terrible it's a good time there's a lot to like in this game there's definitely Assassin's Creed elements so it's not without identity so I recommend that you know it, I recommend people give it a shot yes but if you're in doubt at all of course you know wait uh, maybe wait for a sale if you want to wait for a sale if, if you don't want to if you don't want to um if you don't want to fork this out the full price, I understand sauce. that. Um, I'm sure Must everyone else does uh, do it in this game as well. If, it, if you don't think it's for I you, then there's no need to, to you know. The there's no need, there's no need to buy something you don't think is for you. It's just, if you're in any doubt at all, I've always been of the mind that if you're in, you know, you don't need to, to necessarily make a decision today. How did Eivor know the Leap of Faith? Eivor was taught the Leap of Faith by Hytham, a hidden one, at the start of the game. Before then, Eivor sort of like just plank dives and jumps off of stuff feet first. Um, it's pretty nice actually. I quite like it. Bam! These are some trinkets you I threw it on the floor. You can put it down. I just forgot the button for it. Your time with me? This hey, Fishy, would you say Unity is the best new get, new gen game? No. Or repay. You will want to revisit it's me someday. One of the many you mediocre ones. What's with the leading them. question? Something to work at on this new journey of mine. You have only the setting sun to tell you when to stop. And maybe not even then. That is twice you have earned my admiration. Please tell me your name. Eivor. Eivor. 
If the gods will it, I will find my seat at Odin's table before you. And there I will speak of you so that when the time comes to claim your seat, they will greet you by name. Farewell. The old guard. Imagine doing what Eivor did just now. I love it because you can just find the box and pick it up after earning the man's admiration. And you know what you can do with it now that the task is complete? You can just go and fucking lob it in the river. See, it's gone now. <laughs> and he's still got my admiration. Wow, it's still... And, and, sorry. And he still admires me. We love being cruel to... to the elderly. Are there any cinematic cutscenes? Yeah, there are in the main story. There's a there, there's a, there's a there's a fair few. Right, let's have a look around and find this event thing. Is the end better than AC4 story? I don't know. I haven't digested it well enough to tell you. Um, yes, I've done a playthrough, but I couldn't tell you the answer to that. Compare a game that I've played 60,000 60, times through. I, I honestly don't care to count how many times I've played Black Flag, but, you know, I know a lot of it off the top of my head. Look at this little man, littler than Eivor. I've heard all dames are cursed with slow brains and fat tongues. Care to prove me wrong? Most men choose to be loud or stupid. Impressed that you manage both. I'll take you on. I will take you on. Brilliant. Some flighting spirit. How about a wager? Alright, let's put on a... Let's fuck it, let's go all in. Here. Thank you. Let us begin. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. Oh, to beat such a bracket will surely be fun. Ah, quick to bite back. Be careful, young Earl. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're a weakling, a milksop, a catcher, a louse. Brilliant. I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. Your pride is appalling, and your rhyming is worse. Got you there, young Earth. <laughs> I'm impressed. You are as sharp as that axe on your belt. As promised, I will have my winnings now. Take the gold. You've earned it. Charisma has increased. Lovely. We love adding numerical values to everything, don't we, Ubisoft? <laughs> oh, God. And I got myself a, a good return on that big bet. It was worth the investment. Bring the men to the gates of the fields. Hello, sir. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear then. And the thunder of shields. Yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together, thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness, hammered on the anvil of war. What I say is your best new gen game, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Nothing to do with Assassin's Creed. Uh, <laughs> um, but the new generation coming out, I have no clue. New, next, next gen. Our future not king yet. wants a battle-hardened heir. I love when I can wriggle out of your question by answering it with the question when by by taking your uh, your question at word value rather than what you mean. It's great. Cheowulf worried about succession already. This is a bad idea. Throwing a boy who stinks of fear to a pack of wolves is not the best way to train him. Are you sure that's what Cheowulf wants? He left it open for interpretation. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, 
What about his Skyrim guard voice actor? I knew that he sounded similar from somewhere. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. No lollygagging. It's really him, isn't it? Uber. The man. It's just a shame that you spend half of it in fucking silence and the other half listening to a voice actor who sounds like Google Translate. Uh, let's do this. Hey. I'll keep that in mind. And bold eyes open. Not him. Jailbird? Neither him. But Chailbert. Listen to him. His voice sounds a little disembodied. Is my critique. Wait for him to speak. What is Chailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Chailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of days. Safe from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to hell. Fears are with us, the common folk. But Ungrid still has his soldiers all over mercy. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Come on. Voice, there we go. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. Not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Fonberg in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harold by name, a boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harold, by words and by weapons both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, the any I'm gonna pick this dialogue apart in a Norway second. Has Don't one worry. King, just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? Hit. Okay, here's where I'm picking it apart. How does Chailbert know the size of Norway when two and a half minutes ago he didn't even know that Norway existed? He said, I didn't know there were lands north of this place. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's where Norway is in this game. And then he's like, oh, no, England's half the size of Norway. So are you playing dumb or are you what? No, Harold is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. He Googled it. He had Google. He does sound like Google, doesn't he? I can't imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Chilbert. From this just... day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Chilbert. Chilbert is just built different. The weight of my anger. Not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a barrel of meat. It was not merely a deception. It was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always Oh, look, first. there's long ships there. That's really Good immersive. Line, Were you not an adling, I would hire you as my skull. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins. Separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. Has anyone ha else had to deal with the people talking about the Ubisoft woke agenda? Legit had some dude go off on a question I asked that was insane. Like, bud, there is no agenda coming after you. I don't think Ubisoft, of all companies, can have a woke agenda right now. <laughs> At least not this year. 
gonna have a work agenda, unfortunately. Um, we will not know about space back then. They're not on about space as in space, space, like space between it, between planets. They're on about space as in distance between England and Norway. That one isn't such a, that one isn't sort of that bad. This jailbird guy has some odd dialogue though, I'll be honest. I like riding in pure silence. It just makes me feel really good. Uh... Cutscene time. There's a temple with the shroud in this game. I have no clue. Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. Those pagan rats are numbers. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise I'd love to know where this guy got his cuts. Demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofred? Oh, there you How go. How quickly you recover. That's right. I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Pulgrid's war theme. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Eva's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Well, it's obviously not perfect. He's still alive. Speak your peace. <laughs> come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has or ever will occupy Mercia's sacred throne. He sounds like a prepubescent version of the Bloody Baron from The Witcher 3. How about a Norse? Would you settle for a Norse? We're not as gentle, but we're much better poets. <laughs> Norse, Dane, dog. You're all the same to me. All godless. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more. We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must... Try it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight. Okay. Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. You know your way around a batsman battle. Hey! I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. Strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. Looking for a worthy challenge. Don't know why I had to go under that thing there, but okay. Speak with the captain. The captain. Hello. Who are you? It me. I'm with the Ragnarsons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgrid wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? And I need my time. No, let's attack. Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. It's Bert of the Jail Bert. What are we going to do about him? Jail Bert. Something wrong. I know these men, Abel. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofred showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofred. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. 
There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. Right. Destroy the gate. Slaughter the soldiers. Need the king to me. So get out of the way. Why are you walking it up there? And these are like the the proper sieges, these rather than the raids. They're a bit more variant, usually because the siege, well, it's because the sieges are uh, unique events. But this battering of gates can be a bit tiresome. I wouldn't argue that Assassin's Creed has ever been grounded, but at least it used to be plausible rather than ludicrous. Now it's, like, now it's got plenty of examples of both. I love how there are, there are Danes and, and shit already in here, like, how did they get in here already? We must destroy that barricade! Where do I find all those explosive jars? Oh, no, I have to use the battering ram. That makes sense. Right, that's bullshit. We'll feed the raven! Rammed in. Are you enjoying the game? Yeah, I am. I'm having a good time. Certainly more fun to play than it might be to watch, I reckon. Stop battering and just go over and open the damn door. No. I mean, I could do that now if things open. This, this this harpoon thing works. This is not an ability I've used before. Where's that ram? When it needs to be existing. Oh, you're right. I can just go over and open it. Right. Well, fuck the ram. The ram is shit. Gents. Berg Reds Elites. The Burger Reds. Captain Burger 1 and 2 of the Burger Brigade. I'm 
That man is determined and dead. Oh god, who are you? Just a... He just dropped dead. Okay. I mean, I won't complain. Saves me some hassle. Oh, well, so much for hassle. I'm now in an absolute heap of it. Oh. It's really useful. It just does some killing. Really, the problem with these guys is they have a lot of health and they also dodge quite well. Obviously not today. I got just jammed a dagger in this man's throat. Lovely. Am I delusional for thinking that the AC movie was decent? No, of course. If you think it was alright, then that's that's your right. You're allowed to think that. It's a movie. It doesn't matter if you it's like it. It's over, Bergred. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Because it's not the end of the world, one way or the other. Force the door in. Yes, the urgency. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one Athelic. Where was the son of our king? Jailbird was around. Maybe you missed him. Your lies are just like you, Eivor. Big and bold. Cool. Well. This is the room for me. What's this say? Royal Ledger. To the Almighty King. We have an agreement that is, if by the time this message arrives, it is still your ass that warms the seat of Mercia's throne. Here's what I know. The Ragnarsons have been speaking with one of your own. Cheowulf is his name. Together they are devising a plan to overthrow you and install him in your stead. A Norse named Sigurd has arrived and allied with the brothers. An attack will soon follow. Uh, ready your men. As for your secret haunts, they're safe for now, but keeping them that way will cost you. I await your reply. Only this time, send me more fair-faced envoy. Chronicle of payments, mate. A more fair-faced envoy. There's a symbol here. Don't mean. A clan emblem, maybe. The brothers should see this. Right. Ivar, I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tana Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets. About me, about Repton, our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it, you're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. Um. Tona is our lead. We are wasting time. Tona is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring right, I'm just gonna ban that dickhead. I've had enough of him. Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers. Can you fight with the hidden blade? Sort of, but it's not very good. Nor My is it useful. What happened earlier, with Eva pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. <laughs> He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. 
He'll come around in time. But keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. Could they use my axe to do that and not waste an arrow, but whatever. Right, let's get some power bits down. Some extra health will be useful. That's the dual wield of uh, heavy weapons, so you can heavy dual wield there. We should get a hold of that because it's a good it's a good perk to have. Then you can get two heavy weapons and dual wield them. Or dual wield a big axe and a shield, or dual wield a big axe with anything. Regroup with Sigurd is one thing. Or oh, there's something over there. Hmm. Time is on our side. Did I get the viewpoint that's here? I did. It's fine. Learn talk, lol. Free speech. There's a difference between free speech and being a prick. Freedom of speech is not freedom from consequence. What 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 do, what does that even mean? Like, yes, you can say what you like, and I, I'm well within my rights to ban you from my channel for saying it. You can fight with hidden blade as you unequip all the weapons and just use hands. It's a cool combo, yeah. It's nice. Will you play Immortals Phoenix Rising? Probably not. I might try it. I might give it a go to see, to satisfy a curiosity. But if, I, if I'm not curious, I'll probably not touch it. Um, did you just one dive into a pile of leaves? Something like that, I guess. You loved it. I feel like a lot of cinematics are not so much gameplay in the beginning. Well, it has to set the tone, doesn't it? You either have... See, it's always a problem with with intros. They're either too slow or they're too fast. And when they're too fast, people say that they just look like shit. And when they're too slow, people go, they're too slow. And there's no... Who are you going to ban from your channel? I'm just, it was just somebody who was chatting absolute drivel. He wasn't a fan of the game and he wasn't happy about the fact that I... I had some positives to say about it, and he wouldn't relent on that. So, uh, and it, it wasn't, it wasn't the fact that he was expressing his opinion. It's the fact that he was insulting me directly that bothered me. So I got rid of him because I don't have to put up with that shit. It's that simple, and nobody else should either. I don't deal with toxic people. I don't care. This pig is gonna die. Whoa. This is the fireman. He needs to stop. I'm actually on fire. Right, here we go. How's the game so far? It's it's all right. It's just obviously held back by the fact that it plays the exact same as Origins and Odyssey. And I have marked a symbol upon the stones. That future. I feel like that's a big thing that needs serious, serious consideration about this game. With the Lord here. Be wary. Here we go. For he speaks through ciphers. Standing stones completed. With ancient fibers. They're not always that easy. Because a lot of them will have uh, red herrings, so it'll just be full of this stuff, and you'd have to find the pattern in it all. Right, let's go and find ourselves a perk to invest in. Heavy damage, why not? Amen. You get it, the man said amen. I loved it. Which direction we sh should we go in? Uh, that one? No, we'll go up the hill. Why? Because I don't have to cross water that way. It just seems, to, just seems a little bit less tedious. I don't know why the shield has to disappear when you pop the cloak up. And also, where does it go? Ah! 
I hope the PS5 version looks better than PC. How likely do you reckon that'll be? <laughs> right. It's the mushrooms. The magical mushrooms. This is the seal one, isn't it? Right, where the seal? There's the seal. Oh god, I've lost health. How? Not good. Oh, it's the thing I ate was shit. Peach. Hey guys, assassin seal here. What is Abel's arms? What sorry? What are Abel's arms doing? Oh, they're they're fine now. Oh, they're fine. They're fine, really. There right. we go. The puzzle. Before crossing a new threshold, take care, for it is difficult to know what foes lie in wait beyond. Lovely. A mystery completed. I don't I don't know if I'd call that a mystery personally. That's a wolf. But it's also dead, so it's fine. I like how I scrammed a bit of wolf there. Just a bit of wolf. It is my dinner. This looks amazing, only on AC2 Revelations and 3. Uh, 2 of that's your old and young and then Connor. This looks bloody amazing, thanks for that No worries. A dead wolf, if you will. It died on a hill. going near enough two hours we haven't been doing too badly um, I won't be going stupid amounts of time more because I mean other stuff to do mm, mm, well we'll go down more we'll, oh god I, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do I forget it's marked as is you can't do anything else um, I've got a video coming up at four is what I'm trying to say I don't want to be streaming when that goes up um, also, if you didn't check out yesterday's uh, video where I announced the charity event that we're going to be doing in December, then please go ahead and check that out. Uh, even if you can't support through donations or uh, anything like that, a share would always be good or just a, just a view. just helps it in the algorithm a little bit. It would be nice to do something on those lines. Well, yeah. to, or to get that thing as far as possible. So it can have the most impact. Let's not fall off of this thing. That would be horrible. No. Tonus the deer. This is not going to end well. Just keep your wits about you. Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Ivar and Oba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come along. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Eva from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. A small fortune. You feel grinding in this game? Not as bad as Odyssey, but a little. I'll hold you to that. Look at Sigurd, put his hood what up. What I overheard in yeah. Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tunna. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for man and information. 
Well, that relationship soured now that Burgret is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tana has hunger for two things. Soft silver and a stern hug. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trusted, what use is she? That is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Eva did tell you to bring your axe. Here they are, as expected. If she takes a liking to you, keep talking. She's more your type, I think. No, no. This is your challenge. Come now. Don't drag your feet. Sigurd. What brings you strolling into my camp this brisk? Your bit is dope. I Appreciate it. Know. Let's yes. get the likes up, gamers. That'd be fantastic. The embers on the air betray you. And yet, if you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? Not interested. And why not? I've been told I have a rather expert tongue. Only good for yawping, I see. <laughs> Enough blabbering. You know why we're here. Where is King Burgret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters, records of trade. Kylo Ren, 42269, Avril's voice is soothing. Cheers to the super pays chat, man. Well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson clerks. You're dealing with me now, and I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. Half is all you'll get. When Cheolwulf is on the throne, do you think he'll be pleased to hear you stood in his way? Had you doubted him at all? Settle for half that amount. And maybe Cheolwulf's first command won't be for your head on a platter. You've got stones. Bit of stones. Out with it. Burgred paid me to steer the Ragnarsons clear. Of two areas, Ledechestre and Temple Brochfort. It was a hefty amount. If I were you, that's where I'd look. And that is all I know. Not more, not less. We are done here. Ledechestre and Temple Brochfort. Do you know these places? I don't, but the brothers will. I'll bring this news to them. Don't stay around here too long. We've got a king to catch. Lovely bit of gaming there. Right. Let's go report to Sigurd and the brothers. Where's my horse? That took you long enough. Of the two, I think we'll visit... I think we can choose which one to visit first. If we do, we'll go to the city first. Or town, or whatever it is in this game. Gamers. Sigurd's told us the news. Well done. Letterchester and Templebroth Fort. What do you know about them? Hmm. Letterchester is a large village. And Templebroch. It's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkrate could be at either one. We should check both, as soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Borgred now, offering silver for a warning about us. Let me worry about that. We should get moving, Dringir. I can take the fortress of Templebroch. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me led the Chester then. All by my fucking lonesome. Bring a friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon. It's just really disorienting how short Eivor is, isn't it? Eivor is a little gamer. Is that... Yeah, that's my screenshot for some reason. Letterchester is here. Okay, online service error, apparently. I guess I'll go to the... To the viewpoint. Go. We love our multiple quests accepted. Really gives you that intricacy. 
I like how the colors hit. And I like the lighting. The lighting's really good. Next gen lighting ones. In what ways of gameplay would you say Valhalla is better than the previous ones? <sighs> it's not as grindy as Odyssey. It's not as grindy as Origins. Just still grindy though, isn't it? A little, ever so slightly. Just a tad. It's only a tad, but there, there is that tad. If you're on easy, there's no grind at all. The level rating means nothing for areas. But on normal, like this, or any higher, then you got to be careful. Isn't the game ready, driver, for Valhalla, right? Uh, my, I believe my graphics driver with NVIDIA is uh, completely updated. So, yeah, that'll be what it'll be. Unless it's not, I have no clue. You don't seem to be happy with the game. Oh, I'm just tired. I've had a, I've had a blast with the game so far. I've played through the game already. I was happy with what I played the first time. And I'm playing through this for the stream series. And I'm, we're having an alright time. I'm just trying to be balanced, I guess. I'm just trying to go one way. Or I'm not trying to... I'm not, I'm not trying to give a... A polarised piece on it. I'm just trying to say what's going one way, what's going the other game. But there's a lot to like in Valhalla. There's also a lot that... You know, there's a lot to be worried about. Um, well, worried. Is that the right word? You know, there's a lot to, I guess, critique fairly as well. And I'll point them out as we come. This is just one of those... This is just one of the moments where it's a little bit weaker, if you know what I mean. Well, one of the points where it's a, a tad on the weaker side. I'm going to get the viewpoint, then I'm going to find the bureau in the area, because there's a bureau here, remember? The, uh, the document prepared by Sean. He mentions that there is a bureau in Leicestershire. So, I'm going to find it. That'll be fine. Anonymous to continue. Are they going to climb up here and kick the shit out of me or something? Why, why am I being restricted? Why can't I fire a little bit lower? Oh, bugger. You're dead. Why are you making this difficult for me? Dead. Ow, that hurt. Is there anyone else? Where's this last guy and where's he firing from? Oh, there we go. Now we must climb. What's the eagle vision look like? Well, you've got Odin sight, which looks a bit like this. It's like a pulse thing, which highlights your enemies and stuff. And that's useful. It's very useful. It's not exactly eagle vision of old, but it doesn't have to be. It's quite... When combined with the raven, which you can use to scan places. There's quite there's quite the system there. It's, there's more to it than the animus pulse that you got in Origins and Odyssey as well. So I can quite... I can appreciate it. Now, this is the direction we want to head off into. Sort of like this way. Social stealth a bit, eh? If I can jump off these walls and, into, and blend into a crowd. Here we are. You hold the button, then you have to still control the blend. 
I don't see how I'm blended here, or any more blended than I would be before. But I appreciate the re-implementation of social stealth in a viable fashion. Even if I look nothing like a monk, it's still, still really quite pleasant. Seeing how I've already got revenge when the story's heading to, it doesn't seem personal to me. The story is Eivor finding a new home for for their people, like like you find you finding a new home for your people. That's that's the story. Like you're settling this home, you're building it up. Right, I believe it's here somehow. Maybe it's it's not that far along. Ah, here it is. Yep, right here we found it, boys. You ready? Watch. You fire this. You... Yep. Bam. Yep. It would have been great if I'd landed that right, wouldn't it? How did that work? Now we're in the the rete or retire bureau. Let me fire up a torch, please. And I guess I've got. To... What's this? Cool. Here we are. See? There's a hidden one's bureau here. How cool is that? That's rather snazzy if you ask me. I know nobody was asking me, but I'm I still think it's rather snazzy. Uh let's have a little scan about. This chamber is pretty simple to pass. Yeah, see, there you go. And now we're in a new room here. First things first, there's a letter here. It's a hidden one's contract of espionage. And it's telling you, you know, you get to learn a little bit about contracts of, you know, hidden ones that used to occupy this bureau. There, you get a bit of gear here. What you get are hidden one's gloves. Now, obviously, the first thing I do when I see hidden one's gloves is I go to my inventory and I fuck off whatever that is. And I start upgrading. And then I equip it. Why? Because I, I prefer something that looks good to something that's effective. Um, statistically. Don't know why I'll just choose that. Here's the codex. You need to collect six of those. The Muggers Codex. I've got a video going over, you know, like a tutorial to get all six going up later. Uh, for those who want to get all six. Uh, but I'll be doing all six in this playthrough as well, so it's no worries. Or at least I'll be trying to. Um, yeah, I'll do all six. It's not like they're especially hard to get to. Um, yeah, wonderful. Right. I think I've done everything here. I think I've got everything. I've got all the notes. There's that codex. There's there's a letter. Is there an, there's an evacuation order somewhere as well, right? Here. That's That's the evacuation order. Basically telling you that they, they they evacuated this bureau and they retreated to Cologne. Which means that they retreated across the across, across a little a little bit of water and that, that, that sort of thing happened. That's cool. Will there be DLC? Yeah, there's a there's gonna be a DLC set in Ireland and there's gonna be a DLC set in France. Uh I look forward to... I guess I look forward to both. I wonder if they have any Assassin's Creed elements. I'd love to see some Assassin's Creed aspects in both of those settings. Um, but I reckon they'll do one that's dedicated to the Viking fantasy and one dedicated to the Assassin fantasy. I wonder which way around it will be. Maybe it could be a both and both sort of thing. But I don't know. Look at that. That's, that's, that's a bureau done. It's a nice little place to hide, I guess. Out of the way. Tasty and shit. Oh my god, there's too many people here. Why are these people after me, I wonder? Why do you have to exist, gamers? body. 
It was worth it just to jam a sword in that man's stomach, wasn't it, really? Where are you? There we go. And I got two skill points for killing these people. We love that. No, I suppose I should apply them. What are they in the show? Vikings. I haven't... I've not watched too much Vikings. I want to, but I've just not got around to it. I'm sorry. Uh, I have watched The Last Kingdom, and I really liked The Last Kingdom. Though... You can tell which one's oriented towards the concept of an action hero in that setting and the other one's oriented towards, I guess, I, I guess a more character, you know, general character driven take of, of a similar setting. Um, can you repair these bureaus and operate them? Is it possible or just to settle them? Um, no, you can't do that, but you can loot them, sort of thing, and you can get the stuff from them. And that's important to request, but otherwise, um, there's, there's really not much to be said on the grounds of settlements. I, I like reading the, um, I like reading the codex pieces that you get, they're quite nice. But I'd recommend reading those if you have the time. the six of them all together and it's like a little story and it's really neat well it's not a story thing it's like a it tells you a little bit about some of the you know early early hidden ones and how that sort of works it's mostly the foundation of the tenets and what that um and how that's established with the the classic pretentious assassin speak of we, set, we do this because this, 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 and this. But if we do this, isn't there an irony in this, 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 and this? And it gets to a point where you're just thinking, stop talking in circles and actually just say something. But it's still fun to fun to read. What does it have a new player for Witcher 3? I don't feel like it's any, it is any special. I'm a mission where I look for this the Baron's wife. What should I do to make the game interesting or less confusing? Uh, to look for the Baron's wife? Um, you've got leads to follow, don't you? I don't, I don't realise there's more, much to it beyond following the leads with the Baron's wife. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. It's been so long. Right. Good timing. We would have stormed the place without you. What have you seen? Soldiers are plenty, wagons going in and out. That weasel Borgred is here, I'm sure of it. The bathhouse there and that church, see? I sent a scout to check them both. Should be back at any moment now. Did you see Uba and Sigurd in Templarbra? How do you no. put up your hood? I'll show you if in a minute. Borgred is hiding here, I won't have to. There is a lot we would not have to do if we stuck to killing kings. Thanks to my brother, now we are into making them. Uh, what's the deal with you and other? No small tension between you two. Thought you'd be more like-minded. You and Sigurd, you always see eye to eye? More often than not. You are still young. You live to my age and you will see. The closer you get, the greater the stink that rises. Time's up for your scout, I'd say. He's either dead or run off. Those yeah, tablet are the one for revelations. No, it doesn't. Can't risk them seeing us and Burkwood slipping away again. You stay here and wait for your scout. I'm going in. Let's go. Wee. Right, now I'm going to show you how to put up the hood. Right, you down on the D-pad. Then you've got this full on menu here. It's this one, the cloak. I don't know why it does this thing with the shield and stuff. It doesn't need to do that, but it does. And that's fair enough, I guess. But that's what that's what's going on. I can't move. Like, oh, that, no, I can move. It decided it didn't want me to move. Just 
small Lanchester for clues to King Burgred's whereabouts. I keep reading that as Burger. Burgred. King Burgred. The man is the king of burgers. I believe I'm being followed by people. It's fine. I'm gonna do everything I can to the game. So I said about the lazy cloak animations, it's so sad. The cloak animates fine, it's just when you're switching to it, it doesn't animate too well. Like there was it was a lot worse in the promotional stuff, like when there were the demos and stuff that people could do, they were much less. Well, it was much. It was. It was much more fucked. It's a nice way to put it. Now it's a little bit less fucked. It's just also a, a little bit too simple for what it should be. I'm not here. Shush. I'm not here. I'm not here. Curious as to who did that, right? It was me! Hello, everyone! I tried to stealth and it didn't behave, but it's fine. In a minute, we'll, we'll reacquire our stealth business. Well, d stealth doesn't really matter if everyone's dead. Quite I wish that was good. only my mindset and not that of Assassin's Creed franchise, but you know it is. Lay up for its orders. Scythe the fields and loan the wagons. Sorry, load, not loan the wagons. That's something else. This food will sustain us and we must move it as quickly as possible. I will travel with the wagons myself to ensure they reach our men safely. In the meantime, the church and bathhouse is where we will guard the stock. Maintain, maintain order, stay alert and wait for my return. Stay alert. Control the virus. Save lives, or was it the NHS? I don't know. Uh, right. So it's the old bathhouse, the lovely ends. It's just a shame that there's there's not much wiggle room to get into places the hush way about that fighting to take Camworth back from the Danes. We're to secure our food stores first, lay off Fritz orders. Lay off Fritz orders? <laughs> the king's grown tired of him, you know. That's what all the men are saying. Tired? What do you mean? Are you blind? He questions Burgrid's orders every chance he gets. That's done ever since the Danes showed up. This lovely noise. Yes. Juicy noise. We love a juicy noise. Tell you what, we don't need to kill them. Oh, the door's are locked. I need to get the key from that man, that's why.
Oh, there's a chest here as well. No, I don't want the... Yeah, you know what? You can have the throne. I tried. I don't understand why Avel always overthrows. But it's fine. I've got some iron ore and some leather. And now I'm going to head back to this door. Well, we will be greeted by a shocker. Gotham Knights comes out when you play on live stream. Probably won't play it at all, but if I do, do maybe. You know Have you lost your mind? I feared you were one of them. Keep quiet. What are you doing here? I'm... I was looking for Burgred. You are you are scout. I hoped I might find Burgred myself and talk him into surrendering. But he's not in Leatherchester. How can you be sure? Leofrith passed this way with some men. I eavesdropped. It seems they're only stockpiling food here, but he did say something of interest. Gave orders to send more men to Burgred's wife, the Lady Arvel's with. She's in Templebroch. She would know where Burgred's hiding. Did you hear that? The sounds of battle. Evil. Let's, let's get you out of here, now. Where are you going? I know my way around. We'll go through the market. This way. Oh dear. Of course it's kicking off, because it always kicks off. He's jumped down. He's an absolute sir. This is a really intense battle. As you can see, the battle has occurred once more. Wow, you went flying. That was a bit of a fight. Are you hurt? Speak up. I... I don't think so. My god. I didn't want it to come to this. They would have killed you, Gilbert. You had no choice. Now don't move. It's not like you did much. Where is your king, Saxon? Where is he? Lord our father, grant me salvation. When does their god find the time to answer so much mumbling and whimpering? You are reckless, Ivar. Jailbird could have been killed. Who am I to stand in the light of a boy searching for his balls? Don't excuse yourself. You enjoy this too much. Stop. It wasn't Ivar who sent me. I sent myself. Have caution, boy. Until your father is crowned, you are Mercia's enemy, not its champion. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Now return to Repton and remain there until we call. Will you not stay, Wolfkist? There is no king, but we have corpses to loot. Burkrit's Lady Athelswith is in Temple of Roth. I'm going to find out what she knows. Take everything. Lovely. <sighs> not a bad spot. Who is this? Who is, who is you? Where you like. I am not quite finished here. Pile the soldiers here. Let these in. More dead soldiers over here, and is, is, it, is it bad that I don't know if they're involved in the battle that kicked off at all? They just happen to exist. Oh, look a cow. I can eat it. What are you hoping for in the next AC game? No. I don't know. I guess I'm not hoping for anything these days. Squeaky. I just sort of go with it. If it works out, great. If not, then... Oh, that's a shame. What what a massive shame. You know what I mean? But I just don't have the energy to necessarily have too many hopes. Now, oh, look, there's an assassin insignia here. That's really neat. Look at this. I don't really want it to be too far out because... The angle looks weird, but look, see, lovely, a lovely old assassin insignia. It's 
pretty neat. I never realised there's a hidden ones insignia here. I like the lighting. The lighting is probably what brings the visuals up so much. It's how the lighting hits and the colours that it hits with um, more than anything else. And that's good, I guess. That's good in itself. That's a positive. I like this. I like the photo mode. The photo mode's nice. Ow, we don't need that much bloom. See that? That would be a good thumbnail. That would be a lovely thumbnail for a part for a, for an episode of this stream series. I cannot wait to do them bits and pieces. Wow. You don't see the orange filter on it? Isn't it too much? Uh, depends on what you're going for. Depends on what time of day. There's a lot of, there is a lot of, I guess, orange, but there's no lot. But it doesn't feel imbalanced. It just is the general lighting of it. It's like that sort of time of year is the biome. Like it's like an, I guess like a an autumn biome. Yeah, that's sort of what they're going for here. There are some areas that are far more green or snowy so you've got your whites and your blues and your blacks um you've got yeah there's 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 enough aesthetic variety for it to not be a problem were the entire world just this i know exactly what you mean apparently there's american missions according to derby yes there are who are you Who is this? Wait. This is an Order of Ancients member. What are you doing in the bits? I can confirm the kill and then I'll have a white room confession thing. Well, confession room thing. Not really a white room anymore, is it? My battle cannons have worn thin. I am no longer the reed among shields. The glimmer blood, the hallowed skull crack. The scourge of swan ropes. The iron thong. The lender of silver gowns. I only wish to be a freebooter. Someone who writes their own destiny. Be glad you head to Valhalla with a poem on your lips. Lovely. Bit of gaming. That wasn't so bad. Note found an order member. Order clues. Maybe we should read them if we go to the order menu. Who is this? I can mark you, Warden of War. What, so do you have a suggested power level or something? Actually, you know, I probably shouldn't mark you because, you know, they're not, we're not quite there yet. But there's. We found a clue for you. The Vellum, Warden of Law. First to get a thieves warren atop the highest hill in all of Gloucestershire and just north of the town of Yeah, we're nowhere near there. So we won't be doing that for some time, but that's cool. There's loads. And then you go up here, you've got undiscovered grand ma uh, magister. Hunt all the magisters to reveal the grand magister of the Order of Ancients. You've got the keel, which is uh, I guess a lovely gamer. Keep the keel over and die. You've got the arrow, the compass, the leech. We've killed two so far. Hunter, son of Hunter. Kjotve the cruel, and you're going to die at some point. You know, the, I like the order of the menu. There's, there's, there's a lot to be had there. Oh, shall we go collect some viper eggs? Oh god, this is an encounter that exists. I remember this. Uh, let's go have a, let's have a scan, shall we? Uh, I guess I should kill you, because your vipers and that. Snakes and shit. I don't have time in my life for snakes. I'm gonna focus on me and my child. I don't have a child. I think that's the joke. I see that on Facebook so many times and it's fucking hilarious. 
if you if, I don't understand why if you're having issues in life you go to Facebook to tell everyone about it. I'm just gonna collect as many viper eggs as I can before going in there. It just saves me having to hassle. What the hell's happening to the controls? Oh god, I've lost... I've lost control of the controller. It's just decided that it's gonna give up on me. Anytime this week, will you reconnect, please? Why is it not reconnecting? Come on. What is going on? Why is it decided that it's going to disconnect at all? Come on. Any time this week. Any time this fucking month. Jesus. <laughs> There we go, that took a that took long enough. And there are snakes here, naturally. Play, play keyboard and mouse? No, why would I play keyboard and mouse in a third person game? I think I'd rather not hate my life. Feels good for first person, but third person it feels odd. The only third person game where keyboard and mouse doesn't feel insufferable and actually feels really good is Mass Effect. Uh, Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, keyboard and mouse. It's That's an experience. That's an... But I just can't stand it for third-person games otherwise. What controller are you using? I'm using an Xbox One controller. It's gone back, it's better on mouse for sure. I don't know about that. Because it just feels so sliding all over the place. Have you well, Ethan, mate? Uh, I'm alright, Luke. How are you, man? It's good to see you. Good news, there's going to be a remaster of the Mass Effect trilogy. You, you know how I know about that? I did a video. <laughs> yeah. I love when people say... Tell me things I already know. It might be relevant, but yeah, I'm aware of that. I'm good, man. That's what we like. We, we like we like it when it goes well. What you been up to, then, pal? Say that again. You heard me. I need eggs. Viper eggs. Crusty little sheets won't go away. This is my land. I was here first. So, as I said, bring me viper eggs, and I'll make sure they leave and never come back. Provoking snakes is not how I plan to spend my day, but that could change. A reward? I have already been yes, provoking snakes. I understand your meaning. Bring me the eggs and it will be done. I like to imagine every single snake in the world is named Victor. Don't know why. Yes. Oh, more! More viper eggs! Oh, that's much better! Getting closer now. I can feel it! More eggs! I knew I would regret this. <coughs> <laughs> that nearly turned my insides out. Anglo-Saxon oh, woman, really? <laughs> yeah. I'm in Scotland working at the minute. That sounds like fun. Scotland. Up in the ends. Loving a bit of Scottish something. Yeah, no, that's good. This, this Anglo-Saxon woman has just farted. Yeah, she just farted. Now... I don't understand why so many of these side things, these world encounters in Valhalla, want to lend themselves to being silly. But I've never. That's one of the ones that I don't have a problem with. Because I just think that one's. You know, just a prankster loving to fart. Imagine eating viper eggs and then saying, you know what, I need a massive fart now. 
Surely if it makes you fart like that, you'd have some serious problems That's before it left you. It's mad. Oh, God, right. Smash this in. We'll get it eventually, I promise. There we go. That took us a minute, didn't it? Ah, that's bright. I don't need the torch, clearly. See this? They've had a bad day over there. Now I can just sit on this bench and watch the, them suffer. It should be saying something. Comedy. What's a verdict so far? I haven't touched AC since Origins when it first released. Worth coming back or no? Um, as I've been saying to everybody else, it sounds, it sounds, it's, it depends entirely on what you're after with it. Now, Assassin's Creed in the as a return to form for what it used to be, we're not going to see that now, are we? Uh, Origins broke away from that with the RPG element. Odyssey shat on all of what came before it because it was just. Uh, so all, all over the place. It was a madness. Uh, Valhalla brings it back a little. Valhalla likes to sort of bring in the elements of Assassin's Creed and combine it a little bit with this RPG genre. But the overall feeling is that the RPG genre still doesn't work for what Assassin's Creed wants to be. Well, not what it wants to be or what fans may want Assassin's Creed to be. And when I say fans, I'm, I say that as a first person thing. So... I look at it and go, this is not necessarily how I see Assassin's Creed working. I don't necessarily agree with the overall vision that the, you know, or direction of the franchise, but it's doing okay with what it's got. I feel like the biggest issue with this one is the engine feels like it's starting to properly outstay its welcome. Um, I like this letter that says strange sounds and stuff like that's the the lady fighting down the sewers down there apparently people hear her and stuff like that um basically the engine is out saying it's welcome like this version of the anvil engine it's it, it needs to seriously be evolved it needs to be brought forward it needs to needs to be made to do more and account for more and the moment it feels like it's it accounts for so much but there's some stuff that it just can't do that allows you that more intimate experience uh I guess is what I'm trying to say, if that makes sense for anybody. But for the most part, that's the biggest issue that this game has. It's got a good soundtrack, it's got a good setting. Abel's not a bad character. Uh, I'm going to kill this dog. I'm not going to kill that dog. I've decided against it. The dog has run off. I said I'd scare the dog off. You didn't hear me properly. I've got two skill points. The numerical leveling system is a little bit nicer. You've got a nicer sense of progression. Um, as well. Well, that's something else. Let's invest those points. It's because you get so many skill points so quickly, and then you can invest it in stuff, and it feels like you're actually making progress all the time, as opposed to every 30 minutes after you've gained 600,000 experience, we need to do that 10 times to be able to do the next quest. Does that make sense? I kind of miss the God Mode like gameplay. Granted, it would bore people, uh, but the level power level is just kind of meh. The aesthetic of Valhalla alone keeps me intrigued. Yeah, for sure. I do kind of miss the Brotherhood days where, you, you know, the combat was just an aesthetic piece. It was... Sure, there was gameplay to it, but it looked smooth. And the entire point is, you would cut... It, the challenge wasn't in will you survive. It's how efficient in how effective are you going to be. Like, how fast can you do it? And I miss that to a degree. I like that there's a challenge in the combat now. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like when it was there for that reason, it felt much more like an action-adventure game than an RPG like it is now. And that just sort of fits better with how I liked Assassin's Creed, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I don't, I don't know if this is making any sense to anybody, but I feel like it is. Um, you think Phoenix is a reskin of AC Odyssey Fate of Atlantis? You'd hope not, wouldn't you? I've got a video dropping in 20 minutes and the notification from Just Eat telling me that they have a promotion on, which I'm going to ignore because I, I kind of like having, well, not having tapeworm. You should get an AMD CPU. It'll make the streaming way better, will it? 
Will it make the streaming way better? I mean, 2080 Ti is kind of overkill for this game already. Yeah, but that's what's in the machine just the same. Intel sucks for streaming, does it? How does it suck for streaming? It works well for me. Um, Avor is really slow. Yeah, that's an issue. Avor is a slow, sir. Avor the slow. Uh, this requires a key to unlock. Well, 20 minutes and a video is going up. Just joined in. How do you f feel about this game compared to Odyssey so far? Odyssey is... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start out is I'm not a fan of Odyssey. I like this game. You know what I mean? Do you stream without a face camera? Is it Valhalla just a one-off? Uh, the, the, the real reason is, and I'll tell you now, there's two. First of all, for some reason, Streamlabs OBS doesn't like my... Does, doesn't like my webcam. Because it's a you know one of those 4K ones and it doesn't enjoy that for whatever reason. I don't know why it doesn't enjoy that, but it doesn't. And the other issue is with well the fact that my room is just so hot. So often when I'm streaming, I'm just sat here shirtless. So it's either I sit here shirtless and violate YouTube terms of service and get myself and get myself you know demonetized every time I stream, or I. Uh, or I just go without, and often I like to go without. And in a lot of games as well, the HUD's in all four corners. And when that happens, it becomes a bit awkward having a face cam at all. So I just like to cut out the hassle. If I'm doing a special event, I'll obviously have a face cam on. But I just struggle to, I just struggle to get along with face cams. I also have a habit of being quite antsy, and I move about, and I move out of the frame and stuff like that. And so I can never sit in that box. And so that's another reason why I should definitely not try. Uh, it's one of those, really. How's the game so far? So far, yeah, no, it's no worries. I've been having a good time. It's been fun to stream. This is, but I think I'm gonna wrap up in a minute uh, because I've got that video that's coming out at four. I don't really want to conflict with that and also I feel like I'm literally about to pass out and I can't quite explain why that is but I want to go up here and see what this is first and I will don't you worry I'm hearing bad things about Nvidia's driver should I download it uh well if you've got an Nvidia card and you've bought the game then there's I guess there's no harm in figuring out if it's problems with the drivers so the raiding is boring. Is that true? Raiding, I'd say it's more accurate that it gets boring. At first it's fun enough, but after a while it becomes quite tedious. Yeah, that's probably how I'd describe it. Um, it's not, it's, it certainly isn't the, certainly isn't the game's gold, golden thing, like, selling point. It, right, let's do the can stacking. This is, so, I like them, this is relaxing. Go on. You peel it back and you just have a little Tried bit of Try it yourself. Eivor, bits. come, stand here and look out over the fjords, hold my hand, there you go. I've never been so high. <laughs> Your father brought me here long ago, when we were just 19 winters. Together we stacked stones into cairns. These? Yes. Think of this as a test of mind and wit. Stack the cairn stones high. Done. The game putting Fishy to sleep them out. No, it's more about the fact that I've not been sleeping too great of late because I've been too busy doing the content, you know? Uh, that and also I've done it once before very recently, so that's never going to help. Uh... So invest a point in something to pick up next time. Stun or critical? We can always pick that one up. In a, well, actually, we can pick a couple up later. Pick up the one for now. Because I like to feed into the same spot when I do get the two. Bear stones. I feel like raiding is sort of similar to Den Defense from Revelation. So first it's fun, then it gets boring real fast. You know what? That's probably right. So... Go on. Try it yourself. Eivor. Come. 
Okay, cool. The dialogue wanted to finish itself from the last time. It wasn't happy and said, I want to finish what I was saying. Why did you stop me? And then and then it then it just allowed itself, it's fine. Um Why does my head hurt? Oh, okay. It says it's available November tenth and it's November tenth. And the game isn't out for some people. Like do some pe us is it on for a lot of people not accessible? Even though it's out or should be out. Cause that's pretty peak Ubisoft. I I've had that issue with the DLC so many times where it doesn't come out on the release day and it's like, well, this is the set release day. Why is it not playable? And on those days I just I just don't know what to do with myself. I sit there for hours going, come on. I need to talk especially with Odyssey, because I was sat there like, come on, I wanna the, the sooner I can fire this up, the sooner I can be done with the DLCs and I can do my critique piece and then I can not, never talk about it again and people will stop asking me to talk about it. If only it was that simple, but I, I understand the frustration of of it. Anywho, I'm going to conclude this stream here because otherwise I'll go on rambling for as long as I, 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 I'll, I'll live and breathe and I've got 15 minutes until the video goes up and I don't want that conflict there at all when it happens. Um, probably a little too late, but that's okay. I'll probably be back streaming Assassin's Creed Valhalla at some point very, very soon. Uh, unless I die in a car crash or something, which isn't likely, but it's possible. The world is, is a master of throwing shit at you, especially in 2020. It's almost like everything is mental at the moment, but don't worry. I'll live and we'll be doing some Assassin's Creed gaming very soon. So, thank you all for watching this stream. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. That would be epic and fantastic. Huge thanks to James Rostron and Kylo Ren for the Super Chat donations. There's been a madness amount of those today and it's mostly come from that Kylo Ren dude. What an absolute legend. And, of course, a massive thank you to all the lovely patrons over on the Patreon as well. If you want to go ahead and check that out, there's a link you can follow in the description, which, if you head over there, there's some extra content. But whether or not you think that's worth it in the end of the day is completely up to you, of course. I 100% understand. If you don't want to go near that, then don't worry about it. That's perfectly fine. Your choice. Don't worry. Um, but, yeah, there, there we go. That's, there, that's all that needs to be said on that. And with any luck, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video or stream at some point. But until next time, take care and fare thee well. Yes, I will keep farting eggs. <laughs>